Hi, my name is Joe. This is Cheyenne. I'm going to give you an introduction to CrossFit. We're going to go over the nine foundational movements found in CrossFit. So you're going to need a medicine ball, a kettlebell, and a barbell just to get started. So first we're going to go over an air squat. So you're going to perform 10 air squats. And I'm just going to go over the, the points of performance found in each exercise. So go ahead and start. So you got Cheyenne is keeping her low back nice and tight. So safety is always number one. She is squatting below parallel, which means the hip gets below the knee. As she squats, hands come up for counterbalance, keeping the chest up, fully extending the hip at the top or standing all the way up each time. Very good. Once she hits 10, we're gonna go into a front squat. Good. So we're gonna pick the bar up, taking a clean grip or a grip to where your thumbs can touch your hips. She's gonna bring it up to her shoulders. She's gonna get in what's called the rack position. So she's gonna bring those elbows as high as possible. Everything down here stays the same. So you squat below parallel, core stays tight. Now we're just adding a little weight to the bar, which is gonna be racked on the shoulders. Very good. Good, three, again, back nice and tight. Standing all the way up each time, squatting below parallel, keeping those elbows as far forward as possible. Nice, good, keep going, good, good. All right, almost done, good. Go ahead and set that down, take a rest. Next, we're gonna go into an overhead squat. I'm just gonna show you the position I want for you. So you're gonna be just pretending my bar overhead. Now, we want the armpit showing forward. If she has a closed shoulder, which be you rolling it forward, you're not gonna be able to hold the weight above your head without squatting, without dropping it. So we want open shoulder, hands in a nice wide grip, so that when she has the bar in hand, and you'll see in a second, it's about six to eight inches above her head. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the bar, take that nice wide grip or a snatch grip, uh, bring it up overhead, showing the armpits forward. Everything below stays the same, so we're gonna squat below parallel, keeping the core tight. Very good, one. Good, two, hips getting below the knees. Three. Good, four. Five. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good. Bring it down. Set on the ground. Quick rest. Next, we go into a shoulder press. What she's going to do as she rests, I'm going to show you what we're doing here. I'm going to take again that inside grip. Elbow is going to be in front of the bar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strict press overhead. Press it overhead. Lock it out over top. Biceps are going to be by the ears. So you're not right here, you're standing up nice and tall, bring it down back to the shoulders in a good controlled fashion, press it right back up. All right, Cheyenne. Good, so starting position again, elbow in front of the bar, not behind the bar, she's gonna press up overhead. Good, right back down. As she begins her press, she moves her head back out of the way so you don't catch a chin in the bar, and she goes, Full lockout at the top. Very good. Good. Okay, let's get four more. Last two. And good. Go ahead and set that down really quick. Next, we're going to go into what's called a push press. And the push press is going to utilize your lower body to create momentum to get more weight overhead. So once you get to a weight that you can't strictly press, you're gonna utilize a push press. So we do, you dip in the low body, so my knees go forward. I want vertical hip movement. So I don't wanna see a squat back. You want hips going up and down. So I'm gonna use this to pop it up overhead. Same thing applies at the top here. Biceps by the ears, full lockout, bring it down in a controlled fashion. So now I'm gonna utilize that dip to go into a push press. Good. Good rack position, elbow in front of the bar. She's gonna dip, press it up overhead. Good, right back down. Good, two, three, good. Four, five, five more reps. Six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and 10, very good, go ahead and set it down and rest. All right, so now we're gonna go into a push jerk. The push jerk is gonna be used for a weight that you can't push press anymore, you can't get it up overhead, so now 
After I push press, I'm going to descend into a small squat, then stand up fully with it. So again, I use that dip to create momentum, shove the bar as high as I possibly can, re-dip underneath it again, and stand back up. It's very important that you utilize that small re-dip to stand back up so that you can get that weight completely overhead without struggling and doing weird stuff up here. So here's a few reps, dip, wrap back up, dip, wrap back up, walking out at the top. All right, 10 reps of the push jerk. Very good, standing all the way up each time. Good, she's creating momentum with that dip. Then being efficient, falling underneath that bar. Feet going out to that squat stance and resetting to the jumping position each time. As you can see, she gets a full lock out of the arms, active shoulders at the top, keeping her core nice and tight, back is straight, not compromised. Being super efficient with this movement. Very good. Okay, let's get one more. Good, all right, go ahead and set that down. That was a push jerk. Next one going to the deadlift. The deadlift is used to pick something off the ground. Points of performance. Safety always, keep that back nice and straight. Avoid a rounded back. We're gonna start with the bar just below the knees. She's gonna move the knees out of the way by setting her hips and shoulders at the same rate and then standing fully up. She's gonna return the bar back to you below her knees by leaning forward once she gets past her knees and then her hips and shoulders descend at the same rate to get back to that starting position. All right, Cheyenne. So what I want you to do is bring it up to, good, right there and start from there. Stand all the way up, all right back down, good. Two, three, as you can see she's keeping the bar close to her legs so that bar is traveling straight up and down, not going out away from the body and pulling her on her toes, but she's staying in the heels in a nice strong position. Very good. Good, let's get three more. Last two. Final one. Good, go ahead and set that down. All right, next we're going to the sumo deadlift high pull. We're using our kettlebell here. We're gonna bring this kettlebell from the ground up to your collarbones. We're gonna be as efficient as possible using your big muscles in your legs, your core, lastly, your upper body, which are the smaller muscles. What she's gonna do here is deadlift position. Back straight, bring it up nice and fast, right back down. Now the order is you want to use your legs as fast as possible so you get a big drive up with the legs, big shrug with the shoulders, lastly the arm pull with the biceps. You're going to return the kettlebell back to the ground in that exact opposite. Arms go first, shoulders, then right back down in a nice smooth motion. Alright, ready? Let's see 10 reps of that, keeping the back nice and straight, driving up, good, right back down, good, one, two, good, using a big shrug, three, getting tall. Four, very good. Five, good. Six, and we're gonna five. Once we hit the top, we go right back down. Try not to pose at the top or hold that kettlebell. Trying to be as quick as possible. Good, nice. All right, last we're gonna use our medicine ball here to do a med ball clean. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this medicine ball, we're gonna bring it up as tall as possible, fall underneath it into a front squat, and then stand back up to our final position with the medicine ball at our chest in a full standing position. What she's gonna do is start again in that deadlift position. She's gonna drive up, huge shrug, opening up the hips completely, then falling underneath into a front squat and standing right back up. All right, ready? Good, driving right back up. Okay, ball back to the ground, one. So you're gonna keep long arms the entire time. Two, good. And keep these arms nice and long the entire time. Let's hit three, good. Four. As you can see, this logo is facing four the entire time. So she, she's not curling the ball, she's moving around the ball, being efficient. Good. And on the way up, keeping those arms nice and long. Going, driving up as fast as possible. Let's get four more. Good. There you go. One. Yeah, she hits that bottom position, bounces right out of it. Two, two more, three, last one, very good. Again, the whole time keeping the back nice and straight so you're not compromising that low back. Those are the nine foundational movements in the CrossFit. Now if you're an experienced CrossFitter, 
you know that you can always get better at these movements. So using this as a good warm up, 10 reps of each, doing a few rounds of them, will be really good for you. If you are new, just focus on safety first and the points of performance in each exercise, and it'll be a great introduction into CrossFit.